excited because we are learning 13 Taylor Swift songs today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. Today I am back with another combo video where I'm going to be teaching you 13 Taylor Swift songs. If you're new here, nice to meet you. So happy that you're here. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Now this video is gonna be a part four. I've already uploaded three other videos where I try to teach as many Taylor Swift songs as I can in like 20 minutes. Those links will be in the description box down below. Go check those out if you want to learn more Taylor Swift songs. Every single day I get a ton of requests for all kinds of different Taylor Swift songs from all the albums And so these videos are just a way to try to teach as many as I can because it's nearly impossible for me to do a tutorial on Every single Taylor Swift song ever the great thing about Taylor Swift songs is that she follows the same four chords for so many of her songs And these songs are gonna be from all of her albums even fearless Taylor's version So get excited. We are going to learn 13 Taylor Swift songs today So if you've seen seen my other combination videos, you know that I don't go into super detail about each of these songs. I'm just going to be telling you the chords and the strumming pattern and doing a brief demo because these ones are really easy for you to pick up on your own. I have also created a blog post with all of the strumming patterns and chord progressions for these songs on my website. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Also, all of these songs have the same four chords. The only difference is going to be where you place your capo. Because these songs are they're not all in the same key, you can't just play all of them without the capo, but they all have the same chords if you have a capo, which I recommend getting a capo because it makes your life so much easier. I have a link in the description box below for a really cheap capo that's on Amazon, so go check that out. Okay, let's get into this already. So first we're going to learn the Taylor Swift chords, and these chords she uses for literally so many live performances. So we have G. Our next chord is going to be C at 9. When Taylor Swift plays live, she doesn't put her index finger on that fourth string, but you can if you want to. She just doesn't. Next chord is going to be E minor 7. And this is the way Taylor Swift plays it, like that. And then we have D over F sharp, or you could just play normal D if you don't want to do this. But what she does is she puts her thumb on the 6th string 2nd fret while she's playing D. And another thing she does is she keeps her pinky on the first string and her third and fourth fingers never leave these bottom two strings. So that's good because you'll have like an anchor if you're a beginner. G, C at nine, E minor seven, D. Now for each of these songs, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will all be in that order. They are just going to all have those chords. So yeah, first we're gonna start off with the debut album. And this is a song I haven't taught yet. We're learning Should Have Said No first. And if you guys want any full length tutorials for any of these songs, let me know in the comments down below. Some of these I do have full tutorials for, but most of them I do not. So this song is gonna have no capo and the chord progression for the verses is going to be G, D, E minor, C, A, nine and then the chorus is going to be E minor C at nine G D so the basic strumming pattern for this song is going to be down down and then you're gonna switch to the next chord up up down up down up and then do the same thing with the last two chords E minor down down switch to C at nine up up down up down up and that's gonna be your verse. Feel free to add some palm muting if you know how to do that, but otherwise you can just open strum. So we're gonna do it a little bit faster. So we got G. And now we sing. Stranger than the songs we used to sing, the smiles of our chorus which is gonna be the same strumming pattern you got it so 
so that's gonna be your chorus. And also, side note, the pre-chorus is going to be the same chords as the chorus. Okay, next song, we are moving on to Fearless, and we are going to be learning Forever and Always, which a ton of you have commented for me to teach. I just haven't gotten back to Fearless yet, but we're gonna capo on the third fret. The chord progression is going to be C at 9, G, D for the verse, and then for the chorus, it's gonna be C at 9, G, D, E minor. Okay, as you guys can probably tell, this is not filmed at the same time, but I'm editing this video right now, and I completely taught this whole thing wrong so we're gonna do it again and yes I did put on the same exact outfit okay so there's two types of strumming that you could do for this song you can do down strumming and then you can do a simple strumming pattern that I'm gonna show you guys also I'm losing my voice so just bear with me for a minute here so basically you're gonna play C for a full measure and then G and D are going to split a measure so I will show you what that down strumming is going to look like slowly it's gonna sound like this So you're gonna stay on the C for four beats and then the G and the D, you're gonna get two beats. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So with the words, it's gonna sound like this. Once upon a time, I believe it was a Tuesday when I caught your eye. We got on to something, I hold on to the night. And then on the part where it says you looked me in the eye and told me you loved me you're gonna skip G you're gonna play C at 9 you looked me in the eye and told me you love me were you just kidding cuz it seems to me and you're gonna go back into it so that's the strumming and then when you get to the chorus the chord progression is gonna change a little bit you're gonna do C G D E minor and on the second time you're gonna go back to C G D and then you repeat that twice so it's gonna sound like this. I stare at the phone, it still hasn't caught, and then you feel so low, you can't feel nothing at all. Flashback to when we said forever and always. Oh, oh. And then for the second part of the chorus, you just repeat that again. And that's the down strumming. Now I'm gonna teach you guys a basic strumming pattern that's you know helpful for beginners because it's a little slower. We've got C at nine, you're gonna do down. Down, up, up, down, up. And then you're gonna go to G and you're gonna do down, down, up, and then to D. Down, down, up. So a little faster, it's gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Once upon a time, I believe it was a Tuesday when I caught your eye. We got on a Sunday, I hope it tonight. And then for the chorus, you're just going to play the whole strumming pattern for each chord. I stare at the phone, you still hasn't caught, and then you feel so low, you can't feel nothing at all. Push back to the sun, And you twice for the last time. And then you repeat that all again. So that is how you play the song. I just had to refilm it because it was really bugging me that I didn't teach it completely right the first time, but yeah. Now let's get back to the video. Moving on to Speak Now, we are learning Last Kiss, which a lot of you also want to learn. This song is also gonna be capoed on the third fret. The chord progression is gonna be G, E minor seven, C at nine, D for the verses, and the chorus is going to be a C at nine, E minor, C at nine, D. Pretty simple. You can either do strumming or you can do pitch. Picking. I like to do picking. So if you want to do the picking, you're going to start on G and you're going to pluck the bass notes and then you're going to pluck up on the, like the high notes, if that makes sense. So... You're just working your way down and then back up. So six, five, four, two, three, four. And you're going to do that for every chord based on the bass string of it. So... So you're going to do that picking pattern four times per chord. It's a very like slow song. So when you get to E minor seven, you're gonna start on the fifth string instead of the sixth string, and you're just gonna do that. And then you do the same thing for C at nine, and then when you get to D, if you're doing the thumb, you can do the sixth string. 
you don't want to do that, you could just pluck the fourth string. So that's the picking way. Then the strumming way, you're going to do down, up, 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 down, up. And then you're going to do that for every chord. I'll just sing the first part of this verse here. Um, I still It's gonna go. Sit on the floor in your All that I know is I don't know. Something you miss. Oh, I think that's the pre chorus. And then for the chorus, it goes back into the verse chords. Yeah, that's what it is. Just ignore me. So that's the basics of Last Kiss. And then we are going to do a song that's not from an album. It's actually from a movie. We are learning Eyes Open from the Hunger Games soundtrack. You're going to capo on one. Chord progression is going to be G, D, E minor, C. And then like the bridge is going to be E minor, C, 9, G, D. Strumming is going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. That's pretty much gonna be the whole song besides the bridge. The trick of thing is just a thing we're just children playing soldiers just pretending dreaming dreams of happy endings. We got chorus. Everybody's waiting. That is such an underrated song, I must say. Moving on to the next song, which is gonna be on Red, which Red Taylor's version's coming out this year, so that's very exciting. Um, we're gonna be learning Stay, Stay, Stay. This song is super cute. Chords are gonna be G, C9, E minor, D, and the strumming is going to be down, down, up, down, up. And then you switch, down, down, up, down, up, E minor, and then D. It's a very like happy, bouncy song, so we'll do it a little bit faster. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want, it's a little bit fast. Next, we are going to be learning another song from Red. We are going to be learning The Moment I Knew, which is on the deluxe version, and there's no capo. The chords are going to be C9, G, D, pretty much the whole thing. The strumming pattern is going to be down, down, switch, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then to D, full measure, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Should have been there. Burst at the door with that baby I'm right here smile And it would feel like A million little shining stars are just mine That song is so sad, oh my god, so sad It's like slow motion one actually love that next we're moving on to 1989 and we are learning welcome to new york and this song has no capo the chords are going to be g d c a nine and for this song there's also two options for strumming we have down strumming and then we have a, another strumming pattern so we've got g d c a nine so g d c a nine Is a glow, kaleidoscope of love, hope it's in the coats and 
So if you don't want to do that strumming pattern, I have another one for you because down strumming can be tiring. So a basic strumming pattern you can do is down, down, switch to D, up, up, down, up, and then to C at nine. Down, down, up. Chorus is gonna be the same thing. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Last thing for this post chorus, it's slightly different. You're gonna do a full measure of G, D, C at 9, and then a full measure of E minor 7, D, C at 9. It's gonna be like this. to the other part but yeah that's gonna be welcome to New York for you next we are learning bad blood capo is gonna go on the first fret your chords are going to be C at 9 G D E minor 7 for the whole song which I love strumming pattern is gonna be down down switch up up down up down up and then to D down down switch up up down up down up and that's pretty much gonna be your whole song You go to the chorus. Baby, now we got bad blood. You know we used to be bad blood. Let's take a look what you do. Baby, now we got bad blood. Hey, okay, moving on. I'm trying to go as fast as I can without leaving out important details. Okay, we got reputation and we are learning Call It What You Want, which I have taught a different version on my channel. If you want to go check that out, that is like the live version that she performed acoustically, but this is going to be like the studio version. Capo on the second fret. Chords are going to be C at 9, G, D, E minor 7, just like the last song. It has this little thing at the end of the chord progression where it's going to split the measure between E minor 7 and D. I will show you. We've got C at 9. You're gonna go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then switch to G. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, D. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And for the last E minor and then back to D, it's going to be down, 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 up, and then back to D. Down, 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 up. And that's pretty much gonna be your entire song. We love consistency. So we got C at nine. My castle crumbled in the night. I brought a knife to a gunfight. They took the crown, but it's alright. All the liars are calling me what? Okay, that's gonna be your whole song. My baby's bit like a baby. Okay, now we're learning a song that is also not on an album. We are learning This Is What You Came For, which everybody knows the tea about this song. Taylor Swift wrote it and gave it to Calvin Harris. He was all mad when she told everybody that she wrote it. But anyways, she performed this once on piano and I think maybe on guitar. I'm not sure if she performed this on guitar, but no capo for this song. It's gonna be E minor, C at nine, G, D. And the strumming is going to be down, down, up. Up, up, down, up, switch, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's gonna be, I think, pretty much the whole song. It's a pretty short song, it doesn't have a lot of words in it. So it's got. Yeah, so that's that one, it's pretty easy. Now, the next song. Oh shoot, oh, did I skip Lover? I 
skipped Lover. How could I skip Lover? Okay, I totally forgot about Lover, but I just pulled up a song we're gonna learn right now. We're gonna learn I Think He Knows, which I have not taught on my channel. It's super easy. You're gonna have G and E minor for the verse and pre-chorus, and then for the chorus, we're gonna have C, D, G, E minor. The showering pattern I'm gonna go with is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. You're gonna do that for two full measures for each chord. So we got G. And then you're gonna go to E minor. So the chorus we got down, down, switch, up, up, down, up, down, up, and then we got G, down, down, switch, up, up, down, up, down, up. I hope I'm explaining these well enough. But if you don't like the strumming patterns that I'm doing, you could just make up your own, do whatever you wanna do. But these are just the ones that I hear when I uh, am playing the song. Moving on, I guess we're skipping folklore. I know I said I'm teaching one from every album, but she has way too many these days. And I've done a lot of folklore tutorials, so if you wanna look those up, I have a playlist for that. And as well as Evermore, I have a playlist for that. But we are gonna be learning a different version of Champagne Problems because I taught the original way without a capo but this is the capo five way with different chords for this one you could do finger picking or a basic strumming pattern but I'm gonna show you what I do for the finger picking so we're gonna have G D E minor C at nine for the whole song and you're going to take your thumb put it on the bass note and then you're gonna hook your first and second finger around the third and second string so and you're just gonna go back and forth So you're gonna do that for every chord. So it goes. Book the night train for a reason. You can sit there and lose her. So that's if you wanna do the picking. And if you wanna do a strumming pattern, here's an easy one. Down, up, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, up. And then switch. It also slows it down a little bit. Cause I We all know I can't sing low, but there you go. Um, okay, we are gonna round this out with the last song from Fearless Taylor's version, Mr. Perfectly Fine. Again, I have already taught the original version on my channel if you wanna check that out, but this is gonna be Capo 5 version, which is a little bit higher. Different chords if you like these chords better, which sometimes I just like to change the capo so I could play different chords. Same key though. So we got G, D, E minor, C at nine. The strumming that I'm gonna do for this song, you could either do down strumming or you can do this down down up up down up up down up up down up and then switch up, up, down. and then you just keep doing that for the whole song um so it goes this to perfect Vibes. So if you want to do down strumming, it's gonna sound like this. Hello, Mr. Perfectly Fine. Has your heart at the breaking line? Mr. Always at the moon. So you can do that, but if you don't like that, just do the strumming. But yeah, I think we made it to 13 songs. I hope I counted that correctly, because last time I did not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to expand and do a full tutorial on any of these songs, comment down below and I will try to do that for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!